said it can never be recovered. Now, my fans want to go Mimi na hitu wa kwa naroba chuma kwa 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 Raisi wa bunga la mwana inji wa nakuru kaunti Vile mimi ni raisi wa bunga la mwana inji Bunga la mwana inji ni maambia watu siku zote Ni sauti ya mwana inji Hai beauty Ni sauti ya mwana inji Na mimi niko hapa kupaza sauti ya mwana inji For that reason mutangirusu nianze na hafla ambayo imefanyika mahali kunaitwa Karen in the absence of Uhuru Kinyata but his birthday was celebrated by among us them former chairman Jubilee party that is David Morale we also had former Naragua member of parliament who is now the acting uh, secretary general of Jubilee party I'm talking about none other than this man called uh, Jeremiah Kioni, my best friend. Among us, them we also had several Azmiyo La Umoja leaders who were in attendance to keep company and to show comradeship to one former president, Mr. Uhuru Kinyata Mwigai. Now, brethren, whatever that it took place today was more than a birthday celebration. If you went to school, if you are very keen, if you are a, a key and standing follower of political situation and matters in Kenya, then you must understand that. Uh, you must understand that uh, there are political affiliations. There are tribal or ethnic political unity uh, forums that are being formed towards the steering of 2027 uh, political agenda. <coughs> That's why Uliona, our Kikuyu and Luo and all brothers who are in the Azimio La Umoja coalition coming together to celebrate Uhuru. But the reason why in Mesema it was more than a birthday celebration is that uh, in the recent past it mekua na musuko suko katika chama cha jubilee na ulikuwa naona ilikuwa naonekana hadharani ya kwamba uh, William Samoye Ruto who is the president of Kenya as we are talking alikuwa anajaribu kutumia vijana kama Sabina Chege a small girl from Murana uh, County then another small gentleman by the name Kanini Kega. These two are being used as a weapon to temporarily make them as the leaders of the party called Jubilee to sabotage the chairmanship and the CEOship of Uhuru Kinyata as well as the secretary generalship of one man called Jeremiah Kioni. Now, by coming together as a Kikuyu nation to celebrate this great man, who once impacted into a positive uh, change towards the leadership of Kenya as well as the economy of this country, uh, they wanted to use the opportunity and the platform to uh, make sure that they communicate a message they pass across a signal to the public and the political arena that through Uhuru Kinyata, they are still confident that he is the man to watch from the mountain. That through Uhuru Kinyata, Kikuyus are not actually supposed to lose hope and follow this one man who is clueless by the name Rigadi Kachagwa and that Time is now ripe for the Kikuyu men to realize their space in the Kenyan politics as well as the economy of this country. And Uhuru was a clever man. When he, he came out of the office from State House, Nairobi, Aliacha Nafasi kwa Bwana William Ruto, Naruto Nae Aonyesha Wongozuake somehow. Now, Kenya, 
pia waonje uongozi wa, wa William Ruto waone how different was William Ruto from Uhuru Kenyatta na waone kweli Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa mbaya vile Ruto alikuwa anasema wakati wa campaign so that yeye akiingia atakuwa mzuri ama ilikuwa ni propaganda ya mtu ambaye anaitwa bwana eh, William Samoei Ruto ndio aweze kuingia kwa kiti na akandamiza wa Kenya na wa Kikuyu at large because Kikuyu men and women are the largest when it comes to uh, highest population in Kenya and the highest number of voters in Kenya as we speak now eh uh, because Rigadi Kachagua ameonyesha peupe kwamba hana nguvu ya kusukuma ujamaa anaitwa William Ruto afanyie wa Kikuyu kazi ambaye inatakikana na juzi juzi tumekuwa tunaona maendeleo William Ruto anapeleka kwa hasidi wake wa kisiasa bwana eh, Raila Amolo Odinga then sasa ni peupe kwamba wa Kikuyu wanaamini Uhuru Kenyatta akarudishwa kwenye uwanja wataweza kuona strong team even if we understand that Uhuru Kenyatta already came out of the race mtu mwenye watasimamisha through Uhuru Kenyatta anaweza kuwa mtu ambaye ata represent the community nzuri kwa sababu Rigathi Kachagua sasa amekuwa reduce into a puppet amekuwa re reduce by William Ruto into a small boy a spanner boy mwenye <coughs> yani sasa inaonekana kwamba jamaa anapewa kazi kama ya kumwaga pombe ya wananchi of which we understand that Kikuyu brothers and sisters are the majority in the business of alcohol na biashara zingine ndogo ndogo lakini wamechukua kinara wao ambaye anaitwa bwana Rigathi Kachagua yeye yeah, amepewa kazi ndogo kama ya kumwaga pombe na kutoreta ni chiefs mitaani kazi kama ya kufanya nini e, ya kushambulia Raila Amolo Odinga kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni e, at a time kikuyu people walikuwa wanatamani sana waone huyu jamaa angekuwa ame initiate project Mount Kenya za kufaidi mwananchi wa kawaida tungekuwa tunaona since regarding kachagua huwa anajipiga kifua akisema wataandika kazi wale wenye waliwapigia kura na yeye alikuwa mstari wa mbele and they were the, large, the second largest bo, eh, eh, team or region that voted for William Samoei Ruto tungekuwa tunaona sasa yeye project kweli ameanzishia wa Kikuyu ma level 5 for hospitals ma super highways barabara za kisasa na hata kusponsor brainy children kwenda ngambo kusomea makosa zenye zinaweza kuja kubadilisha uchumi wa nchi na region ya Mount Kenya lakini unaona bwana kuna shida kubwa kuna shida kubwa na mimi naweza kukuambia eh, kuna shida kubwa kwa sababu Kenya sasa hizi ni afadhali hata president asitoke region hapo Kenya afadhali president atoke region yenyewe umdoki kwa sababu taibika sana Leo hii kama we ni mluya ama mjaluo ukiwa na president anatoka kwenu leo hii kama we ni mkamba ama msomali kama hiyo kabila yako ndiyo imetoa president utaibika sana na utakuwa na wakati mgumu sana kuongea hata mbele ya watu kwa sababu utawaambia nini baada ya kupiga kifua mmeingiza huyo mtu kwa serikali huyo mtu anawaletea madharau anawaletea shere are you getting that eh huyo mtu hawasaidii hasa watu ambao ni wakale njini na like like this walikuja karibu sana Carol Embrace karibu sana Sweet Pie mzuri mzuri <laughs> kuna Neri ma na kuna mwenzetu anaitwa Mary Wangeshi Wangeshi baby welcome to the show eh wale vijana nao niwaambia anaitwa Makoma karibu sana sasa nawaambia Rigathi Kachagua ameharibu picha na ameonyesha dhahiri ya kwamba leo hii deputy president ama president akitoka kwa community yako hautasaidika na utakuwa na wakati mgumu kuongea mbele ya watu utawaambia nini na ile hali kwenu kwenyewe hakuna maendeleo utaambia nini watu wako wakati mtu mefront mbele kama deputy president 
ndiye anasimama akiheko ruwati utasema nini kama uhuru kinyata alikuwa ameinishate project za barabara bali kunaitwa kenol kwenye mjaenda mrana kenol is between saba saba and blue post dika town sasa hiyo town kulikuwa eh, na projects zilikuwa initiated by former president eh, eh, bwana uhuru kinyata na hata allocation ya pesa ya funds ikatolewa before toke na kulikuwa na barabara nyingine ya karatina pia kilomita mingi sana uhuru kinyata alikuwa ame make sure ame initiate ya toke kwa ofisi lakini unaona ya kwamba regardi kachagua vile waliingia kwa ofisi walihakikisha pamoja na mwenzake William Mshamoe Ruto wamecancel hizo tu major projects yaani mimi najiulizana vitu vingine sasa wewe mkikuyu utafurahi na nini kuna simu kubwa kama kachagua anaweza ingia kwa serikali na a kausaidiane na Ruto wa cancel hizo projects zenye wamefanya nini wakikuyu wanafaa kufanyiwa karibu sana Irene Thank you very much. And people, make sure you also follow me. Make sure you also follow me on TikTok live on Facebook na ito Trebo Mgenge Jama. Na account in the Facebook na ito Trebo Leaders Baby. Thank you very much. Na wakina na sikia wanasema wa ingiona kwa TV 47 leo, it is very true. And just to remind you, Saturday, nitakuwa okay, nitakuwa on the air, nitakuwa radio yetu. Uh, it's a nine point uh, two for those people who are staying in Akuru, Karibu Sana, Buanajazi, Baba Shop, and the others. But as I continue, Iyo, by the day of Uhuru Kinyata, Niakuleta Wakikuyu Pamoja, then after Wakikuyu Wamekuja Pamoja, watakuwa na muungano wa watu ambao wako na akili. Watu ambao wako na agenda ya Wakikuyu. Lakini vijana kama ni Ninyoro, Kimani Ichumwa, Kimani wa Matangi, hawa hawatapea wakikuyu kazi zenye wakikuyu walikuwa wanatarajia kwa Kenya kwanza government. As if that is not the only thing. Pia juzi, umeona Mother Karua amekuja hapa na Akuru na akakuwa na mkutano na Azimio Chea anaitwa Madam Asumta Mweruri na walikama hapo na eh, eh, Amin they came up with a, a coalition name inaitwa Kamwene. Kamwene hii Mada Karua ameona mbele na anataka kukuja na collection of uh, like-minded leaders from the region, Mount Kenya region, ambao watastia pamoja agenda. Understand that currently Mother Karua is in Azimio la Umoja and in the year 2022 she was uh, holding the position of the running mate uh, of one right honorable Raila Molo Odinga but given that today in the public domain kuna speculations ya kwamba hakuta kuwa na kiongozi wa upinzani bwana Raila Odinga akiwa aje anasimama kuna uwezekano mkubwa mtu kama Kalonzo Mtsioka ashike timu yake wasi, eh, aifroni bale na yeye apewe ticket ya azimio la umoja ama Hata mutu kama Mother Karua, pia waseme, this time round we are going to try a woman and see how we are going, how it is going to bear fruits. Ama wamwe waweke ndugu yetu kama wajako ya mbele, na wampe kikuyu akua running metu wake, ama wampe eh, wajako ya akua running metu wa kalonzo msioka, waone vile itakuwa. That's why Mother Karua came up with the kamwene, and all this is meant to cement the party. Wakiungana na jubili kama itawezekana towards the arrangement of the 2027 general election. Uh, this is not only being done by the Kikuyu men and women, but in the recent past peer to Leona at the coastal region, kulikuwa na mungano ambao leta pamoja maasidi wa kisiasa kutoka eh, region hiyo, Na ongelea watu kama Abu, lugu ya former governor Mombasa Hasa Dijoho. Na ongelea mtu kama uh, Aisha Juma. Na ongelea mtu kama Gideon Mungaro, Jeffa, Amazon King. Na wengine wengi kama governor wa, kama governor wa Mombasa. So all these people came together 
and they are affronting a political party that will assist them towards the uh, steering of the 2027 general election. Kumbuka juzi juzi, President Ruto alinyanganya ma MPs wetu mamlaka ya ku, ku participate katika upitishwaji wa, mus, eh, wa muswada ambao unaruhusu serikali ku privatize key sectors and parastatos in Kenya whereby President Ruto was of the opinion that the KPA, Kenya Post Authority, equal privatized. Privatization means that ili shirika kama nilikuwa laki serikali na nimaandika watu ambao wanafanya serikali kazi na waza uzwa, uziwa a private investor mutu kama aliko dangote kutoka Nigeria anaiza kuja Kenya na aseme mimi niko na 200 billion shillings allow me to invest in this and that is to mean he will now have full control over the port and employ the people whom he wants and also dismiss the ones who will be holding the office waende kwa sababu ye di atajua ni nini na nini na nani na nani di wanafaa kuwa hapo kufanya kazi na ye so wale watu wakoso region wanyo wamekama hapo na political party wanataka kujiondoa somehow kwa serikali ama kuwa kwa nafasi mzuri kukosoa serikali na kuyambia serikali kwa mba hata kama serikali mepea kazi wengine ni ma CSS, ma CASS na principal secretaries from the region haistahili kwa mbe tu wanyamazie tu serikali ifanya mambo yao so huo ni mungano mungine apart from ula ambao madakarua metengeneza unaitwa kamwene na pia ula ambao jubili inaenda kufufua pati yake ambaye inaitwa jubili pati na tumeona juzi wakatoa hui mama anaitwa Sabina Chege ambaye alikuwa na anakti kama minority chief whip na akakuwa replaced by Embakas West member of parliament one jamaa anaitwa bwana Mwenje Mwenje ni member of parliament second term MP bwana Akuru not na Akuru but Embakas West so we also had during the Uhuru celebration bwana David Murathi akisema the first thing they are going to do was the court, uh, uh, I mean, publishes the name of Mwenje, is to make sure that he uses the position to de-whip all the officials who are aligning to the party of one man called William Samoy Ruto. Now, I'm saying, what I'm nyumbani, I'm going to put the position of National Assembly kwa sababu huwezi fanya kazi hivu iti bank na ulipo mshahara na KCB bank ama huwezi kuwa unaenda kwa jirani huko ni wanapeleka uunga na boga and then unakutia kwa kwa nyumbani kwa bibi yake tutakula huko so that is one another issue that I also want to talk about is the foreign trips by our head of state is the foreign trips by one Mr. William Samoye Ruto. Na hizi trips zimaongelewa sana na wa Kenya wenzetu na mimi nikiwa mmoja wa wale wa Kenya. Naona ni makosa makubwa sana. Kenya watu wanalanguish into poverty. Kenya watu bado bei ya bidhaa muhimu muhimu kama unga mafuta na mambo mengine haija shughulikiwa. Lakini president wetu William Samoye Ruto ameenda foreign trips zimefika 38 na foreign trip moja inasemekana huu jamaa kuna wazekana natumia hata milioni miambili suwali la kwanza kuna wazekana huu ya musamwe ruto hajelewe ama hajamini kwamba anaeza letea wa Kenya maendelewa akiwa nyumbani ama ni kwa nini nyeye anaona afadhali aenda arambe jugu ya wazungu yu ampe maendelewa Uhuru Kinyata alikuwa na safiri ziara za inje akiwakilishi nje yetu ya Kenya. Lakini katika huo wakilishaji wake hakuwa ana travel sana. Now, if in one year alone our president has traveled for about 40 foreign trips. That is to mean in the remaining 4 years atakuwa na 40 trips mara ine ama zaidi. So 40 times 
Here it is one hundred and sixty trips plus forty. The nyasha end already. Here you kumanisha foreign trips are two hundred plus. Let us approximate it at a rate of uh, two hundred and fifty foreign trips. Na pesa nyata kuwa metumia kwa hizi foreign trips. Kuna wezekano ni pesa mingi sana. Kuna wezekano hizi pesa zige tumika kufanya kazi kubwa sana. For instance, kama trip moja anatumia 200 million shillings. And so far, ameenda 40 trips. That is to mean, eh, ametumia about 8 billion or several billions of shillings. Iyo ni pesa inyeneza badilisha mambo mengi sana hapa Kenya. Iyo ni pesa ambayo inyeneza jenga malevo 4 and 5 hospitals across the 47 counties in Kenya. Iyo ni pesa ambayo inyeneza ungezea walimu na madakitari na maskari wetu mushahara sababu wajibili yae na kwa wakubwa na hao ndi wanafanya economy yetu inasimama na hao ndi wanafanya pesa isakileti mitaani mama zetu wa biashara na kondogo kia waweze kupata mutaji. Hiyo ni pesa ambaya naeza sema all the public high schools watalipa half school fees. Hiyo ni pesa yenye naeza simamia wanafunzi wetu wa universities across the country waweze kulipiwa pesa ya help na watoto wakaya shuleni hii bada nyinyo wazazi wetu wako nayo iweze kusaidia. Hiyo ni pesa inaeza tumika kupeana kupeana nini? mikopo kwa vijana wetu wafanyi biyashara ndogo ndogo bila interest. Na haya atakuwa ni maendeleo makubwa sana. It is unfortunate that some areas in the Rift Valley region bado watoto wetu wanasomea mashuda ambazo zimejengwa na off-guard za miti. Kasa off-guard ya miti kusema kweli. And the way Rift Valley is somehow called. How can that child operate? Kuna areas enye watoto wanaenda kufanya KCSE, KCP exams and they have to cross very dangerous rivers and streams. Zenye zimejaha wakati huu. Badala ya kuenda hizo foreign trips. Hizo madaraja zigekua, hiyo pese metumika zimejengwa vizuri na watoto wetu hawarisi kumasha hao. Nimeona leo kwa Daily Nation kwa mba 15 choppers zitatumika ku airlift mitiani. Fueling hizo choppers na magari kwa ground, especially magari ya maskari itakue naenda kupiki mitiani, hiyo ni pesa itatumika kiasiki kubwa ya pesa. What if President Wenu maziara zingina angaeka kando na hizo pesa 200 milioni per trip? Zitumike na treasury kutumika kwa matumizi kama hiyo enye, inafanya mambo enye haiwezi wekwa kando kama supervision na hizo mitiani ama transportation, picking, and taking to the relevant officers those exams. Mbona pia hizo pesa, President Asiache Kwenda Maziara, hizo pesa zitumike kuongezea kipato wale walimu ambao wanasimamia mitiani, ambao tunaita individuators and supervisors. Na pia kuongezea wale walimu ambao wanaenda kusimamia marking exercise of the examination. Kwa sababu last time tuliona kitendo cha aibu sana. Whereby some teachers wali complain wakasema the renumerations which were being paid to them was way too small and that they wanted some improvements. Awa alimpia wakasema chakula chenye wanakula huko kilikuwa chakula kibaya sana. Lapia wakasema mazingira yao ya kulala ni baya sana. Na muda ambao ametengewa pia kumaka ni muda mrefu sana. Walikuwa wanamaku kuanzia saa kumina mili jioni, wanamaku mutiani mbaka saa ngapi? Saa saba, saa nane ya usiku. Wanalala kidogo, tena saa mbili ya subuhi, wamerudia the same exercise ya kumaku. Lakini pesa ambayo walikuwa wanamakia iyo muda ote, ilikuwa ni pesa kidogo. Lakini wakati walikomplain, walifurushwa na wakafukuzwa from the premises where they were marking the examinations from. Now, hii pesa what if we added them something? Wange fry sana. Kuna jamba mbalo nimesoma leo kwa newspaper online na nila kusikitisha. Hii na ilo jambo ni na usu neck. After walimu wame complain neck, 
eh au walimu walikuwa wanalipwa 460 shillings nasikia neck wameongezea per day sasa ikue 475 shillings ati walimu wazima wa Kenya per day ameongezewa shilingi 15 huyu mwalimu kumbuka anakaa kuanzia saa moja asubuhi ako kwa station ana frisk wanafunzi ana inspect the eh, class yenye wanafunzi wanafanyia mtihani kuhakikisha ya kwamba hakuna material za kucheat in the exam ziko pale huyu mwalimu haruhusiwi kushika simu hata chat ama browse huyu mwalimu anasimama for the number of hours yenye mtihani unaenda kufanyika Na as if that is not enough, this time around there are some changes in the invigilation and supervision sector of the KCSE and KCP examinations. Imesemekana ya kwamba huyu mwalimu mwenye alikuwa na malizana na mutiani sanane aende jumbani et wamesema akae kwa hiyo station baka masaya sabime na mwenja na nusu ya aende jumbani. Sasa mimi suwadilangu ni NEC, TSC, Ministry of Education, Kupet, Nat, which role are you playing to make sure that our teachers in the whole country also are motivated to make sure that whichever the exercises that these people are undertaking, wana undertake wakiwa wamefraia kwamba wanaenda kupata kipato ambacho kita wasaidia. As these teachers are risking, kwa sababu kipatikana tena wanafunzi wamechit in the exams, some punishments will be taken. Some disciplinary actions will be taken against the same officers. What are you uh, doing to safeguard them? What are you doing to make sure that they undertake the exercise with a lot of enthusiasm? To encourage them even next time. What are you doing to encourage that teacher who is willing that next year he is also going to apply to supervise for the exam uh, examination? that will be going on. If today huyo mutu anambiwa at mwalimu mzima kutoka asubimba kajoni in which letter analipo shilingi miaine stini at neki meongeza kutoka shilingi miaine stini kwa siku at mefika miaine sabini na tano. Shuali. Where on the earth? Kasijana ka form 4 kakijana ka form 4 kenye kamemaliza mutiani kakaandikuwa na IABC leo kama kuna by election katalipo 1,000 a day. Na whole exercise pesa yote inya hui kilaka kwa nalipwa, itakuwa around 8,500 shillings after taxation. Hui ni mutoto wa fobu wana. Na hui ni mwalimu mwenye akona degree. Unaweze kano hame upgrade ya kapata masters. Hata mungine PhD. Hame omba ombi la kuenda kusimamia individuation ama supervision. Kwa na mlipa shilingi miaine na stini, ati akikomplain unaongeza na kuwa miaine na sabini na tano. Sasa, siyo mwalimu wakataya kai nimbani. Some of them have been assigned very remote areas to oversee this examination. Na unamulipa hiyo pesa. Kuna weze kano kwa siku kama analikuwa 460. Na huyo mwalimu anatumia 500 as bus fare, ama 1000 as bus fare per day, the teacher is operating as a loss kwa sababu NEC, TSC na means of education siwa relative za huyu mwalimu huyu mwalimu akienda hapo ni kazi anafanya so ukimwekea hizi conditions mbaya mbaya afanya na hizi conditions wengine hata afya ni mbaya hamusaidi hawa wanimu tafadhali ni hata wale wanaenda kumako wafanya kazi mzuri Ya hata cheating kama nye tuliona huko kisi, shule mzima unapata imepata E mzima. Na ilikuanga na E mbili ama tatu ama B plus kwa mitiani nye walikuwa wanafanya. E na manisha cheating ili take place. Na cheating ili take place kwa sababu those teachers who are assigned to do the job may be neglected the job because after all they are not being remunerated well. Sijui kama tunayelewana. It is high time we appreciated these people in the society so that they get what they deserve. Ndiyo pia watafanya kazi. Kalonzo Musioka hawezi kuwa anachea by partisan talks na kimani chungwa for only 
two hours wanalipwa 50000 per city na wewe mwalimu anaangalia mtihani unamlipa 400 six sessions which biggest job yenye kalonzo na yechungwa wako wanafanya hata bipartisan talks wamekataa kuongelea mambo kama high cost of living yenye inaweza saidia wa Kenya lakini hawajafanya hivyo na hatujii kama bipartisan talks kweli itazaa matunda wa Kenya wanataka na huyu mtu hiyo sitting whether itazaa matunda or not huyu mtu akana earn whooping 50000 shillings as we are talking this team has so far spent in the last two and a half months we have spent 145 million Kenyan shillings hii pesa hamwezi saidia pia walimu wa kuwa na mazingira mzuri ya kufanyia watoto wa Kenya na wazazi wa Kenya kazi ama kwa sababu mwalimu hana mtetezi ndio maana mmemkandamiza hivi tafadhali in future itakuwa ni ngumu sana kupata mwalimu wa kuandika kazi na mimi niwaambie for free wale walimu ambao ambao wanachukua hii course na wanangangania kuandikwa ni wale ambao wako job sababu Kenya kweli pia hakuna kazi lakini commission ya TSC imeteka advantage because of the desperation of the teachers wanafanya nini walimu hao wanalipwa peanuts today teacher salaries have been cut from all directions all the allowances like travel allowance commuter allowance medical allowance zimekatwa huyu mwalimu pay slip iko bure now tell me how these people are going to work hard Allowance ya travel imekatwa. Huyu mwalimu inamaanisha atatoa pesa yake kwa mfuko yenye ngenunua unga, yenye ngelipia stima yenye imepandishwa, pesa yenye ngelipia pikipiki hiyo anatoa kwa mfuko yake tena atumie kama safarini kwenda kuinivigilate mchezo. So kindly president William Samoei Ruto. This is a wake up call for our country Kenya. Reform our country for the better uh, future. Umefinyia hizi key sectors chini juzi nilikuwa naona about eh, 38 companies zimekuwa na loss 38 companies zimekuwa na loss ya about eh, four, uh, or 40 billion Kenyan shillings to make sure karibu sana madam Abigail we are alive tunaongelea eh, mambo ya foreign eh, trips <laughs> by our, our president one bwana william samoei eh, ruto so tunasema hiyo pesa yenye bwana ruto angetumia eh, anatumia kwa foreign trips so far kwa mwaka mmoja ameenda about 38 foreign trips hii ni pesa ambayo ndugu yetu ruto angekuwa ametumia kuboresha hiyo stipend yenye walimu wanapata wakati wa indigestion as well as when they will be heading to Nairobi and various marking centers uh, to make sure that they actually uh, supervise and indigestion the examinations very well without any kind of disturbance without any kind of worry because most of them are actually spending even to travel to the side areas na pia tumeguzia tukasema ya kwamba ingekuwa ni bora tujenge level 4 and 5 hospitals in Kenya kwa sababu huwezi kuwa na tamaa ya kwenda kuona wazungu etu wazungu wakupee mikopo na trip moja uko na watu karibu moja mna spend 200 million shillings unaona hiyo ni pesa yenye inaweza fanya mambo mengi sana makubwa sana hapa nyumbani Kenya so tunamkosoa rais wetu kwa heshima kwamba angepunguza hizo foreign trips na afanyie wa Kenya kazi ama hata atume representative mmoja mwenye hata kuwa na gharama kubwa kama head of state itakuwa ni jambo la busara sana sasa kuna jambo lingine ambalo naongelea na hii ni kuhusiana na mambo ya mvua ya El Nino mwanzo tulikuwa tumeambiwa kwamba mwezi wa wa kumi, our meteorological officers walikuwa wametuambia kwamba tumekuwa na mvua kubwa sana El Nino na hiyo mvua eh, inge, ingekuwa ina affect wananchi sana na for that reason the national treasury allocated some billions of shillings as mitigation fee and the money was to be distributed by the treasury to various counties 
hii pesa ilikuwa itumike kuhakikisha kwamba kama ni bridge imejengwa haraka haraka imekauka watoto wenye wanavuka wakienda kufanya mitihani ya KCB KCC e, wamekuwa catered for hii pesa ilikuwa itumike kama ni renovate dams na kutengeneza our drainage system on various roads pia ingefanyika so that it tusione mambo yenye tukua tunaona huko mwingi ati watu wa mesingi na basi wakienda barrier eti watu wa mesingi wa cross bridge eti pikipiki mebebwa na maji ati abiria akiwa mebebwa na boda boda man na mambo kama yenye huwa tunasikia ya kwamba eh, eti eti Mutiani haujaweza kufikishwa center fulani welcome my brother eh, JC eh, ati mutiani wa kitaifa hujafikishwa karatasi haijafikishwa mahali fulani kwa sababu eh, hawa watu hawangeweza kupita mto fulani because of what and what so tunashukuru serikali imesema itatumia 15 choppers ku distribute mutiani lakini pia wasifanye hivi el nino imebounds hii pesa waweke mifikoni mwao. This is the caution we are giving. Na mimi kama bunge la mwananchi president wa Nakuru County. Yes, Abigail. Okay, Jesse. Okay, nimewakaribisha sana. So, nilikuwa nasema hivi. Nilikuwa nasema eh hii pesa yenye ilifaa kuwa kwa department ya El Nino ya mvua yenye ingetumika kufanya haya mambo yote yenye nimetaja hiyo pesa irudishwe kwa treasury ama hii pesa tusikie serikali imetuambia hii pesa yenye ingetumika kwa El Nino ya okay karibu sana ndugu hii pesa ingetumika kwa jambo lingine kwa mfano kama ni kupea vijana wetu wapee vijana wetu hii pesa watumie kwa miradi tofauti tofauti kwa sababu walidanganya vijana wetu wakasema pesa itakuwa ya hustle fund hustle fund shilingi 500 na hii economy size hiyo 500 wakate service fee kijana mgani atajiendeleza kikazi na hiyo pesa that is so little amount of money so hii pesa yenye iko kweli nino department na ile nino haitakuwa hii pesa tuambiwe ama tuambiliwe itafanya kazi gani na itaboresha uchumi wa inji kivipi kwa sababu in the recent past tumekuwa na scandals kama tumekuwa na scandal ya cooking oil Moses Kuria walishirikiana na some other government stakeholders and the business people wakasema they are going to import edible oil na hii edible oil ingesaidia wa Kenya sana kwa sababu the government had a plan of reducing the prices na ku make sure ya kwamba eh make sure ya kwamba mafuta ingekuwa ina retail per liter kama 150 shillings lakini inashangaza sana lakini inaudhi sana kwamba as we are talking cooking oil uh, prices per liter in Kenya is now almost almost headed at a price mark or price tag of 280 shillings in some areas in Kenya hapa na akuru iko around 250 sasa ni makosa sana hii pesa yenye ilifaa ku reduce prices huyu jamaa aliweka kwa mfuko na mafuta hata prices zikasaje kabisa. Na tunashangaa ya kwamba huyu mtu badala afunguliwe investigation kwa hiyo ofisi yake ya Ministry of Trade amekuwa transferred by the president jamaa akawekwa kwa docket ya public service. Tunajua aje kwamba huko kwa public service huyu jamaa anaitwa Moses Kuria bado tu anaenda kuleta maovu yenye amekuwa ameleta kwa Ministry of Trade. Itakuwa ni makosa sana kila kuchao day and night. Rais wetu wa taifa la Kenya awe ndiye anakandamiza uchumi wa watu wengi wa Kenya na kuumiza ndugu zetu wa Kenya. Ni makosa.
just because somebody was campaigning for you and is an ally of your alliance of Kenya Kwanza like uh, Moses Kuria, you should not hide him when he makes a mistake. A person whom we believed in kwa inji kama ya Tanzania kama magufuli, angekua ni yeye, angekua asha tuma William nani eh, uja mana hito kuria nyumbani. Lakini Ruto naya amechukua uja maka mweka tena kwa wizara ya utumishi wa umma. Ni makosa makubwa sana. Kumekua na hiyo 6 million shillings. Lakini pia per liter of edible oil is rikali ilipandisha iyo per liter na seven dollars. Now, if, if today dollar ya Kenya Kenya ni shilling versus the dollar, US dollar ike na rate at 159.5 shillings. Iyo ni kama kusema 160. Na January, hii dole likuwa in a range at 120 shillings. Kumanisha ruto kwa mwaka moja, hii shilingi ya Kenya versus dollar. Ama dollar imepanda at a rate of 40 shillings. Iyo ni mwaka moja tu. Niambia, after five years, kama inapanda kila mwaka hito na 40 shillings. Then that is to say, in five years time, 40 times 5, that is what? Uh, that is around uh, 200. So, dollar ya Kenya bwana itakuwa around one, uh, 600 shillings. Ruta akitoka kwa state house ya seme na rudi kwa wanja kufanya campaign. Ina maana ya kwamba dollar ya Kenya, shilingi ya Kenya against the dollar zitakuwa zina sell at, ama zina rate at Kenya ni shillings, eh, 600 shillings equivalent to one dollar. Ni makosa makubwa sana. Na tunawambia William Samuel, hatutaki Kenya yetu ikue kama Zimbabwe. Hatutaki Kenya yetu ikue kama Uganda. Hatutaki Kenya yetu ikue kama Somali. Unajua ukiwa mahali kuna ito Uganda leo hii. Mukate unaweza nunua shilingi elfu hamusini. Just one loaf of bread measuring 500. Mills uh, or grams, I mean grams. Ni makosa makubwa. Sasa Zimbabwe, nasikia Zimbabwe mbaka saizi wako na noti ya shilingi elefu kumi. Yo shilingi elefu kumi, noti, isidani nafanya kazi kubwa. 10,000 noti ya Zimbabwe inanunua tu mboga na unga peke yake. Yo pesa itakuwa meishi. So, Ruto alifanya makosa kuondoa sababu si dize nye zilikuwa zinaongeza trading activities na zilikuwa zina later profit ya kutosha na taxation ikiingilia mwanainji hako wanakuwa affected sana. Lakini ndugu yetu wakati aliingia ona dollar imepanda sana against the shilling. Na niku wanakupea mfano wa Zimbabwe. Nini munataka Kenya ikue kama Zimbabwe na Uganda na Somalia? Nini munataka Kenya siku enyo utaenda kununua mkate ununua mkate shilingi ya lefu moja kwa sababu mimi nikiwa form 1 Teremi Boys High School in the year <coughs> 2005 I was in form 1 tulikuwa tunanua mkate shilingi shilingi na tulakumbuka tukienda kwa shop wako wa kantin tulikuwa tunanunua kuota kuota ilikuwa 5 shillings Ukikuwa na 20 bob, shopkeeper wetu alikuwa na hitu uh, Oriyama. Oriyama alikuwa na kukatia yo mkate maraine, kota, 20 shillings. Unakula mkate kwa nilikuanga ya yellow ndani, unaenjoy sana. Lakini leo, ona shilingi sabini na hiyo mkate tena wamefinya grams. 500 grams unapato keka kwa ratiri, hiyo mkate tena na unapata ni around 378 grams only. Now, hiyo ndiyo munataka, na hiyo ni mwaka ya kwanza. Mkate imeongea, imeongeza kutoka 50 shillings, imeongeza na 25 shillings. It is now retailing at 75 shillings. And 500 grams. What about the time Ruto will come out of this government after five years? Mkate takuwa shilingi miaini, na utanunua. 
Si sukari kila moja tulikuwa tunanunua wakati wa kibaki shilingi 45. Wakati wa uhuru sukari imekuja ikakuwa 85 shilingi kila moja na ikakuja ikafika shilingi eh 120 ikakuja 150 Today sukari imekuja ikafika shilingi 278 Ingine imefika shilingi 290 na tisaini. Now tell you tell me my brother Tunaenda wapi kama nchi Sisi bunge la mwananchi sauti ya mwananchi Tunasema tafadhali mtupe mkono mtunge mkono Sasa hizi tungekuwa live na nyinyi pamoja hapo mnafuatilia sasa hizi mkienda YouTube mngekuwa mna subscribe kwa hizi channels na peana maneno kama haya na mna share wa Kenya wajue wanaelekea mahali mabaya. Lakini huwa mnalala usingizi siku moja mtaamuka kama nje ya Kenya imeuzwa. Na itakuwa too late nyinyi kuwa sent. Tafadhali tuungane tushikane mikono tupigane hizi vita zenye rais wetu anafanya wa Kenya wanakanda nasema tuungane na tukatae uongozi mbaya wa kimo. Hii organization ni tukatae. Hii bipartisan talks inaendelea kwa sababu washatumia 150 million. Mimi napeana warning kwamba mpende msipende. Lazima imalizike na muelewane vizuri. Lazima high cost of living iwe imeangaziwa. Lazima organization yenye inaendelea iwe imeangaziwa na irudishwe chini wananchi wameshindwa na maisha lazima eh IBC ikuwe na reconstitution na tukuwe na political justice in Kenya so that yule candidate yeyote mwenye atasimama ili avai kiti fulani awe na roho ya kujua kwamba akishinda mtu mwingine hata yuko kwa nafasi yake lazima tujue security docket pia itafanya kazi na lazima tutetee maandamanaji wa Kenya kwamba leo hii kama mtu hadharidhika na serikali kikatiba section 37 33 and 36 of the constitution gives that person or that Kenyan the powers to picket and demonstrate na kuna askari anafaa kumpiga risasi amua so sina mengi ya kuongelea kwa fans wangu ambao wamekuwa mnanifuatilia Facebook, TikTok na hata Twitter nasema ni asante sana kwa sababu mmechukua muda wenu mmeacha shughuli zenu kunifuata na kutetea wa Kenya wetu eh, kwa maisha mabaya ambao yameletwa na serikali ya Kenya kwanza na tunafanya hivyo kwa sababu sisi kama bunge la mwananchi ndio sauti ilibaki kwa sababu siku hizi ma members of parliament wenye mmeshaelect mkawapea na fazi kwenda kwa national assembly ni kujipiga mapicha wakiwa foreign lands South Africa, America, Canada, Dubai, Guatemala name them wanaonyesha venye wao wanaishi maisha mazuri badala ya watetee nyinyi kwa national assembly hao watu sasa hizo wamebaki kupewa hongo na William Ruto wanapitisha miswada ambayo inaendelea kukandamiza wa Kenya na ndio maana tunawakumbusha kama utasikia mahali popote Kenya kuna kiti inaitwa bunge la wananchi. This time round make sure mnatoa viongozi kutoka kwa mabunge ya wananchi. Kwa sababu leo hii sijakula hata kuongea ni shida. Sina pesa, sina mshahara kwa hilo bunge la wananchi. Lakini kama nimesimama na kutetea, na sukuma state house, na sukuma governor, na sukuma senator, na sukuma MP mwenye ako sitting akufanyie kazi. Wewe unaona ukinipa hiyo nafasi. Sitafanya kazi sana kwa sababu nitakuwa na pesa kwa mfuko. Nitahakikisha hakuna household itaala njaa. So tunawahimiza viongozi wenye wanawatetea na wanakataa uongozi wa bwana William Samoei Ruto na kulazimishwa kupitishwa kupitishwa miswada mibaya mibaya au ndio viongozi mnastahili kuwa na wao. So sina mengi ya kuongeza. Facebook nimewaambia naitwa Trebo T R E B O R mgenge jamaa na ingine inaitwa Treble Letters Treble T R E B O R weka space then L I T U S Treble Letters enda uni follow Facebook enda u comment enda u share kama unaona kweli 
nikuambia habari yote ambayo nimeiongelea siku ya leo inakufaidi na itafaidi na inafaa mkenya wa maisha ya chini na hata mkenya wa maisha ya juu lakini anajali jirani wake ambaye analidi maisha mbaya ya kulala njaa so thank you very much na nawakaribisha kwa bunge letu la manyata na kuru hapo shabab tuweze kushinikiza hii serikali ifanyie mkenya kazi ambayo mkenya aliwapea kufanya so thank you very much and may god bless you mungu awabariki sana naitwa robert makoha